Well, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the farm. This is our beautiful Soviet countryside. And this here tractor is spreading around our 100% organic, bio-waste, human-generated compost. <laughs> Increasing the fertility of our fields. Uh, we finally have that going. We don't have much of it, but we, we got a little bit, and we're going to put it in this to up the fertility of these fields because they are taking their time getting back here. We got 50% over here, so they did end up sowing that field. And we got a whole bunch of these fields. Not every field is, is done. Um, I mean, ain't. not every field's grown at the same pace, put it that way. But, you know, they're way out there. That's good. This video, I want to stop. I want to pause really quick. This video, we need to get some progress done, okay? In waste, all right? I want to focus a lot on this area. And um, I won't be able to do it very fast because I don't actually like the way this is set up in fact i think it's not going to work the way it's set up so we're gonna have to put our demolition office to work here i think because i want to delete that and that and see i would leave this because it's finished they actually finished this thing already um they almost finished this but uh even though it's got the steel delivered uh, like this one's gonna finish. Sorry, this one's gonna finish. Even though they've already finished this one, I gotta delete it because it's not in a good position for us. Um, I think, yeah, like I don't know how big it's gonna be, so I don't want to have to wait for this later to tear down. I'd rather they get just get on with it. Um, but this part here is gonna take some time from construction crews, so we're gonna have them focus on this first, and then I'm probably gonna get rid of that. Uh, we're definitely gonna get rid of this. Because I don't think that'll be necessary either with this. And uh, I think I do want this to finish. So we're going to let them continue working on that. But uh, this one here is going to get torn down. And most likely I'll have to move these power lines too. And we'll talk about it. All right. We'll talk about what's wrong with this setup. How it's supposed to work. And, you know, where everything is you know, supposed to be here. So I'm, I'm just going to pause construction on this for now. I don't want them to commit resources to it just yet because I most likely will tear it down. But just in case I need it for something, just in case I change my mind, this is already built and I'd rather use it and not have to rebuild it. But these two things for sure need to be torn down. And so we're going to get crews out here to go ahead and do that. While we're doing that, I'd like to come over to the technical university. We got 15 professors now. Got a lot of people, you know, getting learned. And uh, I think I'm going to deviate from the course of action I was doing. I was going to do scrapping here. I was going to get steel recycling. right? I was going to get the bitumen so we can make our own fuel. We're going to take a quick detour and grab this one. Energy from waste. All right. Now, it's 1,800 work days. So it's not a quick detour. Right? There's, there's nothing quick about it. Uh, but it's necessary because waste is going to get out of control very, very soon. Okay. It's going to get out of control. And I got to do something about it. Now, what I need to do right now, because I haven't done this yet, I need to go around and do this. I need to find every single waste bin around the Republic. And I need to mark it to make sure that there are dedicated bio waste bins in every single one of these. I'm going to add one more to that. Uh, over here, yeah, we have dedicated bio waste. I'm going to add one more to that. And I need to make sure all of these have this, all right, so that we can start collecting the bio waste, because we have edification and everything. We need to start collecting this bio waste separately. Because it's going to be very difficult to get that bio-waste. Nay, impossible to get that bio-waste to create compost. Unless we have our own people doing it for us as they go. So we're going to maybe, maybe make like six of these bins bio-waste here. Uh, we're going to come over and... Uh, I don't actually see any waste bin over here. That's interesting. We're going to have to add one. So I think I'll add it right to the corner here. And... Actually, I don't know about this side. I might do something with this side. But if I if I do something with this side, then there's still going to be a need for a waste bin. So go ahead and mark that there. And let's get that in a dirt path. Okay. So we'll build that one. That's going to provide for the courthouse. Uh, now, the courthouse, I've, I've altered the sentences. And I'm actually going to bring this down to two and a half. So the sentences by default here are very high, and you want to lower these. It's my opinion that everyone should lower these sentences. Uh, the default sentences are going to keep a lot of people in prison, and your prisons are most likely going to fill up over time. 
With these sentences, I think there's a decent balance here. You keep them in prison just long enough to remove the crime, um, the criminality from them and maybe improve their loyalty a little bit, but not so long as to keep them to where they have zero criminality, but they still have to stay locked up. You want them to be productive members of society. Uh, so we got the hospital. That's good. Here's our crime. And if you've never seen how this system works before, because I haven't explained this for new people, so I want to kind of go through this too. So for serious crimes, I probably should let it run so we can get on with that stuff. So let's just one time speed. For serious crimes, okay, right, we, we, these are all investigating, all right? We have three columns here. We have four columns, actually. The type of crime, right? So, you know, the lighter ones are more of a blue color. Medium is yellow, and then the serious ones are red. The investigation has a progress. And so in this case, we're 87%. Uh, of the way, 88% of the way towards solving or being done investigating this crime. Police need to get to the scene in order to start their investigation. Every crime in your republic has a statute of limitations. That is a period of time in which if you haven't convicted them by that time, then you won't convict them at all. So they get away with it, basically. And that limitation is marked by this column here. So the statute of limitations is progressing. Every sense from the moment they commit the crime their statute of limitation starts okay and based on our investigation percentage and the limitation and how fast that grows this is our chance to solve it 45 percent now if we solve it once we once we get that fully solved so the medium crime here is 96 percent once this reaches 100 in the investigation column it moves to the courthouse by a carrier pigeon like i said before <laughs> you don't have to take it there it just appears um and these courthouses can pretty much settle uh, you know what? We have unemployment problems, and I don't like the sound of that. So I honestly also don't think that we should have a problem with coal, and I feel like we're going to have a problem with coal. Let me really quick put biological in here, because I didn't have that before, and I don't have biological here. Every time I see a place where people are working, I want to make sure we got biological containers, because we want to see these fill up, separated. Um, let's go back to here. So the... Uh, the courthouse receives the case. The statute of limitations continues. It carries over. So whatever the progress is from here, it carries over to the courthouse. If this reaches 100% before your trial reaches 100%, they get away with the crime. You don't convict them. Okay? Otherwise, everyone is guilty. <laughs> and they go to the prison. We have nine prisoners in there now. And each one of these prisoners has their own stats. But what we're really looking at here is criminality. So if I click one of these, their criminality stat on this person is 10%, right? Based on their experience in prison, over time, this will either go up or down, usually down. Um, but other stats will also go up and down. For example, their loyalty is zero. They're not very loyal at all. They really don't like us, all right? Now, if I come down here... You can see our current intended upbringing. We can set cultural enjoyment up and, and put some resources into that. But that will alter what our commitment is to other places. We have Soviet propaganda, which is going to help their loyalty. Um, if we have warders that are very loyal, they will help government loyalty. Okay. But at the moment, I have a serious loyalty issue, a uh, loyalty problem in my republic, because I don't have a whole lot of tools at my disposal to make the loyalty higher yet, right? We need radio, that would really help, and just generally more monuments. But I needed everything to be stable before committing lots of resources to monuments. Let's go ahead over here and check. I, again, I need to really keep an eye on this to make sure that they're doing it. And I don't see my deconstruction crews. Are you not? Okay, well, the excavator's gone. That's good. Uh, what about the other one? Okay, so they're on doing something. Uh, oh, speaking of doing something, I have roads being done. So this road is marked, and we're seeing this get paved right now. We're doing that road. Uh, there's also this road marked to get to become asphalt. And uh, this one's already done here. I kind of wanted to make this road asphalt as well, so I might mark this. What I want to do, though, before we before we get too carried away here, is I want to re I want to juggle these these uh, things around in our stream series and in pretty much every other workers and resources video series I've done or pretty much any type of game or stream I've done we've had dedicated construction offices where construction offices are meant for buildings and there's another one that's meant and dedicated to roads etc and there's usually groups that are dedicated to one or the other I opted not to do that in the beginning I just wanted a bunch of vehicles that could go out and do what I wanted them to do but at this stage of the game and because we're going to be doing a lot of roads before we weren't doing all that many roads 
now we're doing a lot of roads and a lot of asphalt and asphalt takes time because you have to lay the gravel and then the asphalt instead of it just being mostly just a dump truck and a bulldozer so what i'd like to do here is go through and juggle these vehicles as well so we'll start this off by looking at the mechanisms that are in this one i think we're going to make this one the road construction office so i'm going to rename this one to the uh, west road construction maybe i'll just go west road office and uh we'll go with char for short so this is the char west road office okay and then this one over here is going to be the char west building office and now they're going to do more than just roads and buildings but for the most part that describes their responsibilities okay we also are going to have this thing built so i'm going to have make sure that they finish this and uh, to finish this so that the dump trucks in each of these offices can go and get their gravel from a different place now i sh probably should just not build this and let the one office come over here and just get it directly from this bin it's not that much of a difference in fact it might even be faster okay to come and get it from here but i already have all the resources delivered to this construction site if it was more than just work days, I would cancel this. But since I've already committed to having this and this, I'm going to let that finish and let them uh, get their stuff from here, right? That way, I don't have to make this asphalt. I'm going to have this asphalt anyway. So this can stay gravel and uh, the construction crews and stuff can move along this main road to get what they need over here, okay? So uh, yeah, there you go. So I want to rejuggle this while we're waiting for these guys to get on with what they're doing. Uh, we're going to say, oh, let me just double check that. I did, I did do this, right? Okay, good. Uh, I want to make sure I got that research started. There's a couple of things I want to do while I'm juggling here. One is open haul trucks. I'm going to have one of them come down here. And I also want to get, there's another open haul somewhere out here. You. Uh... Well, you're from the road office, so cool. I'm going to have you come down here, too. There's one more that has this route where it's it's wandering around. And I, I, I saw it earlier, and I was like, okay, let me make sure I make sure I grab that. And I just never did. And I know I never did. It is connected to the rail office. And it is over like this, this one. So it's responsible for just going and picking up vehicles at the border, right? And bringing the train over here. This thing has been going back and forth between this office and that ever since we started building our railroad. It's been doing it for years, man, uh, because I totally forgot it existed. You have to bring stuff to the rail office with a truck. And in order to do that, you have to set up a route. Well, that route repeats itself. So if you're ever doing things once and you know it's only going to happen once, add to the route a stop. And a road at a road depot that way they're going to come there and do nothing and they don't wander around for years i messed that up so we're going to fix it now this vehicle is over here and it's still on its excuse me Why did you, there you go it's over here and it's still it's on its way now to the customs house with a half a tank of fuel okay we're going to change that what i want this truck to do is i want you to go over to the bricks okay because there's we're full of bricks now we can't make anymore it's pretty cool so what I want to do here, because it's been making it for probably a year now, I just haven't been paying attention to it. There's no reason to pay attention to it until we're out of bricks over there, and we are now. So let's go ahead and do this now. So this is now going to get removed. This is the open storage for bricks. We're going to load bricks. We can wait till loaded. That's cool. And then we're going to come over to this and drop them off here, and we unload the bricks. Okay, that is your new route. And now what I want to do, since we have a route with a truck doing this now what i want to do is copy that to the, the the trucks that i just reassigned so i'm going to also make this truck go ahead and do that as well and then this one i reassigned as well isn't this this one yeah this one i reassigned so i want to copy that route over now to to this one as well and now this one can go ahead and go get the bricks too so we're gonna have three of these trucks oh i want to i want to delete this as well and we'll talk about why in a second um the uh these trucks, these three trucks, are now going to go to this, pick up the bricks, and bring it over here and drop it here. That's going to make it accessible by our construction offices, which is fantastic. We really need that. We only have eight tons of steel. 
we're gonna need more um construction wise over here they are moving along with this but it's taking some time right we've delivered 51 tons of steel to this site which is a lot but it's not enough we still need five tons more and we also need some delivered over here so that i can uh deliver and and make uh um so i can deliver the metal scrap because i kind of want metal scrap to be delivered over here now at the moment that's kind of expensive right so this is a big expensive thing to have your metal scrap be in so instead of it being there what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let this right here be dedicated to metal scrap we don't have a whole lot so it's gonna be very slow as we know to uh pick things up from this but i think it's going to be it's gonna be fine because the amount of metal scrap that we're going to have is very small but i do want to save metal scrap aluminum scrap we're gonna send it to the border over here and actually i probably should do it over here let's do it over here instead and then plastic waste we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna send it over to the border over here that's a very long distance for our trucks to have to do our garbage trucks to have to do so we're probably going to want to buy more garbage trucks eventually as well i think pretty soon here so i'm going to go ahead and activate uh construction on this technical services office as well uh, and then i also i think want this so i can redirect some of our flat trucks here these three that are bringing bricks over there i think once they've pretty much emptied this out and brought them all over there what I'll do is I'll assign these three flat trucks, uh, open hulls, to this construction office. And then that way, all the tasks that need to go to, uh, or that need bricks to go to it, they can get it from here. Then we have more delivery for brick. Okay? So, uh, I think that was pretty much all I wanted to cover, uh, at least before we get to this stuff over here. No, there is one more thing. But uh, first, I'm going to change the source. So, this right now is trying to get bricks. Sorry, prefab panels and boards from this source. We don't want that. We want you to get it from here. Uh, and then same thing. No, I've already changed this one. Okay. So we want to juggle these vehicles so we can more specialize them. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to take the excavators out of this office. This is the road office. Take the excavators out of here. Okay. And we're just going to move them over. Uh, well, at least I thought I was going to move them over. You're the wrong one, aren't you? No. No. I moved one of these over and it's just not not moving yet do it move i want to see you guys actually move oh you know what i probably did i probably moved one that was that was already on a construction site that might have happened it's fine we have mechanisms like bulldozers we're going to move those over to the road office okay there we go we're going to move one of the open hulls over to the road office and we're also going to move one of the dumpers over to the road office. So we got rollers, we got asphalt pavers, we've got a lot of dumpers, we got a couple uh, or a few of these bulldozers, and we have two open holes along with two covered. And two covered is fine, but I think I want this covered to be over here. And then the excavator is also going to be over here. So we're going to move our excavators over to that side too. So what this leaves us with hopefully is one space. I don't I don't know if it does, but hopefully it leaves us with one space so I can get a second tower crane in here. And then it leaves us with a road office that consists of five bulldozers, uh, looks like nine dumpers. Yeah, nine dumpers. We've got three open haul trucks and uh, two rollers and two pavers. That's not bad. Ideally, I'd like to have more rollers and pavers, but that's not bad. What I can do now with this office is I'm gonna wipe the jobs because I just saw all those guys leave. I'm going to wipe the jobs that this particular one has. I'm going to do an auto search and tell it not to do buildings and not to do uh, electrical wiring. And I think that's it. Uh, conveyors and pipelines. I think conveyors and pipelines are, are a no-go too here. But everything else, footpaths, factory connections, roads. And then these two, uh, these are new things as of this update. So I'm not entirely sure whether that's um, something that's super important for a road construction office. Because reconstruction is mostly a building thing, and machines replacements happens in buildings. But I believe covered trucks are responsible for those. And since I have covered hulls in here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and let that happen, right? But now that both of these are done, each of these offices are going to get their gravel from a different source. So you're going to get your gravel from this one now. And that way, the dump trucks here don't crowd uh, all one, 
all one uh, location. All right, good. Uh, the next thing I want to do really quick is this dumper needs to change. We're going to put you in a route here, tell you to wait until unloaded for your coal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you sit over somewhere else. I want you to just hang out over here, actually. Uh, so, uh, tell you what, is there a, there is over here actually. Yeah, right here. There's a spare road depot right over here. I'm just gonna, just gonna borrow that real quick. Put this road depot kind of over here for now. Stick it right here. It's cool. And then what I want this dump truck to do, it's already healed. Healed? No, <laughs> it's repaired. Um, I just want you to go here unload your coal, wait until you're unloaded on that coal, and then you're going to come over here and do nothing. Because we're going to use this dump truck for this area here. We're going to use it to get a certain construction resource, namely construction waste. Uh, we're going to use that to get the construction waste out of here and transport it over to this spot over here where the construction waste is being stored. Once this construction waste is like out to about here or so, then I'll start working on getting this building done so we can process all this waste into gravel. And because we have so much gravel in here now, I'm going to reduce the workers in this place to like two. We really don't need very many workers here anymore. Everything's going to be fine. And uh, these vehicles are all wait till loaded, wait till unloaded. So if it's full, they're just going to sit there and they're not going to waste any fuel. So it's going to be fine. Uh, okay, next, we could take the building office and tell the building office to auto search and to have it only do certain things. But instead, what I'm going to do since I have a dedicated road office now, I'm going to come over and assign this to group two. And that'll be the only thing we assign to group two. Okay. So group two is now the road construction. So anytime there's a road that needs done, we'll assign it to two and only two. And that's going to be all for the future. The existing projects that are already there, we're going to let those go. We just got this asphalt road done up to here. So we now have a two... We, have, we now potentially have our first uh, one-way street highway here. I would like to finish this part, but I really need them to focus on what I've already given them. And then at that point, I'm going to need them to focus on factory connections. Never mind, they're already done. Okay, I didn't notice that. Factory connections are done. So when this finishes, I can't believe they're not on site yet here. Like, what is going on here? I'm seeing the, the scrap building. Do we have workers? Oh, we have workers here. Okay. I was like, why are there... Why is the so source of waste building in this location? <laughs> Without anything going on. Yeah, there's no workers. That's because of the workers, right? Okay, so like this... Again, this takes forever to do. Demolition stuff takes a really long time. Especially if it's way over there. But it's necessary for us to get this up and running the way I want. In the meantime, uh, I'm looking at my waste and stuff. And I'm seeing that... Uh, this is ba basically full, and so we're starting to dump waste over here now, unfortunately. Because this is full now, too. Uh, did we get that one cleared? Yeah, this one's cleared over here. So this one is now going to be that 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 final temporary one. Final free dump, which takes forever. Uh, we're going to put that, I think, right here. I'll just separate it like this. So we have another dumping site, Okay. Now we're gonna try to focus the metal scrap over in this side, but we don't we can't necessarily do that. But we're gonna try it. Because I'd like to save it. We can sell it, right? We can. We could sell it at the border, and that's I think what we're doing. If you were to take a look at the budget and everything, which I mean, we don't have much money left, so ye. We're uh we had a great month last month, right? And um I think we'll have an okay month this month, but I I, I wanna say I'm still am I buying steel right now? I don't remember. No, if these guys are sitting still, we're not buying steel yet. Yeah, yeah, we're not buying this. So what is our expense right now? Is it just fuel? Like, uh, last month, what was our expense? 100,000 in expenses. No, that's export. My bad. <laughs> oh, whew. Um, I had 100,000 in exports last month, which is crazy. We exported 445 tons of oil last month. That's a lot. We also exported a lot of clothes. That's helping us to... Good exports so far, okay? That's great. Um, what the imports are is, is mostly fuel, looks like. Fuel, bitumen. Oh, bitumen. Bitumen. I don't need to import this anymore. I don't... I think, I'm pretty sure this is full. A88. Okay, it's, it's not full, but it's... It's enough. I, I think it's enough for now. Let's find this vehicle. 
And this vehicle has bitumen already, and it is on its way to the tank. Excellent timing! We're going to let this unload. And as soon as it does that, as soon as you're done unloading... In fact, I don't even need you to be done unloading. Let's just have you do it right now. We're going to have you wait in this place over here. All right? That way, when it comes time... Like, when we run out of bitumen, then we'll just tell this thing to continue its route which starts by dropping off the nine tons it has in storage, okay? That way, like, once we know it, and I'll go ahead and have it notify me if it's empty. Uh, I also want to be notified when production stops, yes. I want to be notified when this is empty as well. If this is ever empty, tell me. Um, we are start. I started construction on this little extra bit here, but I think this is way more important than that. So hopefully we could just keep the supply of coal coming. We got 360 coal ore left in there. And uh, we aren't using any foreign manpower. We're still using this. You know what? This is the last time you go here. Okay? You're not going to the border anymore. We are stopping all foreign labor right now. Okay? This last, this bus load right here is the last one. So, from now on, you are going to get yours from this bus stop. Okay? You're going to get your workers from here instead. That's the new thing you do. You don't go here anymore. Okay? Okay. Glad we have an understanding. Now, this doesn't have any workers there. That's mostly because everybody wants to go to school. We've got a lot of people in here that are not educated. 38 in that one, 43 in that one, etc. And they need a place to go to school. They've been getting on these buses, which go back and forth between two platforms. So there's a couple... There's two buses that go back and forth, and that's all they do. They bring passengers and students back and forth. It's not sufficient. So we're going to have to implement another school. I'm going to go in and grab... Uh, school here. This is uh, the small one. And I'm going to place this school right... I think I'll place it right up against this road as close as I can. I might regret going as close as I can, but we're going to do that anyway. And we're going to have that be a thing. So when we get this constructed, we should see... A lot of these guys are now going to walk to that side. I also think it's a good idea to get ourselves an asphalt footpath that runs right behind... Yeah, I can actually just get right through here and then bring it all the way over to this side. And I'm looking at this road also. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I bet you I should probably just get this going with, you know, being an asphalt road as well. I think we could probably make this an asphalt road pretty easily if I just pull that away, take this access away here, and I got this whole stretch here. That can be asphalt as well, which uh, I think is going to be a pretty good road. I mean, there's going to be some stuff moving through here, right? We already have vehicles moving through here, choosing the route, right? So maybe that's a good thing to do. Let's go ahead and mark that one, and we'll mark this one. As long as they have a route they can go and get around, that's okay. But I just got to, like, slowly, somewhat slowly, upgrade roads and just get it going. And uh, once, they've up once they do that, then I'll get this walking path to kind of meet up here. All right, so what I want to do in this area is I want to get a passenger platform right here. And I think it's going to be, just actually go back to asphalt here. I think I'm going between this, these two buildings. Right here, straight down, connected there, I believe is where I want to go here. Um, I was thinking about going between these two as well, and I still may... Because it does fit. I could just put it right there. Right? So I could I could do that too. I don't know if there's any value though to doing that. I suppose they could walk like that. But it's like it's mostly just to get to the store and to, to get to any of these other facilities. Again, I really wish I would have left a gap right here to get right through here. But, you know, I'm looking at this. And I'm getting a better idea. Now I think there's a reason for this to exist. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna submit this as something I want to get built. Um, but what we're gonna do on this side is I want a passenger platform. We're gonna flip it, and it's gonna line up with this side right here. I think it needs to be this side, not the other. And I'll explain why in a second. So as we go about, well, now. Not necessarily true. It could be right in the middle. I think the middle is probably better. 
And they can kind of choose which way they want to go. Get a little closer to the... Yeah. Okay, fine. We'll go kind of in the middle here. I think it'll be okay. I'll have to measure it out, but I think it'll be okay. If I go here with this, let's just hold control really quick and place it so I don't disrupt that road just in case. If I measure this out from here to about here, it's like about 112 or so meters here, 117 or so to the road. So I think this will probably be okay for my purposes uh, because train sets are uh, usually shorter than that. When I'm, when I'm using train sets, they're shorter than that. So uh, real quick on the other way too, just get a quick measurement on the other side too from this point actually closer to this point from this point out to about here about 103 meters i i, I believe this will be okay so uh what i want to do is i'm going to get the track right you can see that the track comes from this side right and so what I, we're going to do is we're going to get the track to come out this way oh uh, okay so that that sewage pump is kind of in the way but i think we can Make that happen. Yeah. Just make it like happen like this. It'll come on a little curve, I guess. About here. Okay. And then it's going to wrap around. It's going to go out this way. Out this way. And then it's going to wrap somewhat hard in that direction. Between these uh, power poles here. It's going to come out around this. And it'll probably wrap around about like that. So, so I don't really know exactly where it'll be. But it'll probably be out somewhere around there. We'll have to look at it later to, to see exactly where we want this to be built. Yeah. Uh, and then this track is also going to be... Probably from right about here is an okay spot. Uh, we're also going to take it from this spot. And we're going to come up. And I think, I think probably like this is an okay way to do this. Now, you might think... This is too close to the intersection. I would actually argue, for me, it's not close enough. So I'm actually going to pull this back. Um, we're going to say... I'm actually going to do this here instead. Right about here. Nope. Can't have it end over a road. So right about here instead. Yeah, so we'll go about like this. And then from here, about like this. Now, this will work. This close to the intersection. So long as you include this segment as being a part of this intersection. So we'll look at how signals and stuff works later uh, if, if anybody's confused on how that works. Signaling and stuff is something that's like, it's, it's very easy once you figure it out. But it's not the easiest thing to figure out. It's one of those deals. I also want to go a little bit further away from this. Nope, not like that. Just like, I want to go a little bit further out because walking paths and stuff crossing the track. So we're going to go about like this instead. Yeah. And plus we want to stay out of the way of this uh, power pole here. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's pull this back just a little bit. Yeah. About, about like this, what I'm looking at. And then we're going to come around like this and out and around out like this. Keep it plenty of room. This actually is probably pretty good. Then we'll merge on. Uh, no, not there. Not there. We want to go even further. We got to go even further away from this road. We got to keep lots of room between this road. All right. So we'll have it be about here, I think. Let's just get a quick measurement from here to here, then to here, and then over to here. It should be about one. F I need it to be more. These two points need to be more than 155 meters. So needs to go out a little bit further before it merges over like that. So about here and then like that. That will work for me. Uh, this side is a bit complicated. So what I'll end up doing on this from this direction is I'll put the signal here. That way the, the trains will stop on the road here and it won't proceed into this until it can get all the way through. So really that whole thing will be an intersection there. But the idea okay is to make sure that trains stop before the road so they don't interfere and stop on the road uh and then also if they're going to cross into this area they're going to cross all the way through all right so the, the trains and the tracks and everything are set up uh for train distribution being in mind okay so there is our train track layout for this area and because we have that i can now place the courthouse that i wanted to place a little bit out there but it does work right in this spot here. We'll place it about 
I think this is an okay spot for this. Should be... Well, the one other problem we have here, of course, is this road has to connect out. So we actually have to have this road out. And so... Uh, otherwise, they can't access it. So if I can get the road to kind of do... I don't know, can you come out here? Yeah, like this. If I can get that road to come out here. I'll, look, I'll have to look at that. And then, uh, courthouse. Initially, this train track was going to be more that direction, but having changed it is actually screwing up where my road connection is. This. So, maybe... I knew this was going to be a problem. I Didn't I call it? I was like, I'm going to have to move these things. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not going to want to... I don't want to move them, so... If we can help it. Maybe we can go right alongside this, like this. Yeah. And then connect here. That would work. And then this will just connect to that road. Perfect. That takes care of that problem. Just pull that back and pull that back. I think that's acceptable. Um, the game, it doesn't make it look good, but it's acceptable for me. And then I can take and go like this with the courthouse. Bring this over where it needs to be. And right about here will work for me. Right about there. All right. Now, of course, we don't need to build this yet. So we'll just get rid of the road for now. And uh, this will be this, the place where that is. So anyone who's going to work in the courthouse, they'll come in on the train, of course. Um, we'll get people coming in on the train to work in the prison. We'll get people coming in to work in this, the store here. They can maybe get a transfer to the bus station, etc. But I also want to give them the ability to reach this university. Now, most likely, the train track we have on this side will end up being where they go to make the university. But why not allow both, if possible? And also just allow more foot movement uh more movement via foot uh through here movement via foot yes um let's take another loan here we're just over two million of course and i'm gonna go ahead and roll that one at the top i think so we'll go 1.2 here 1132 459 <clears throat> there we go gives us a little more a little more breathing room there. We are green on the month if it wasn't for the loan payment. Okay, so they just finished the general separator. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and go down to zero workers. Because I'm not ready for them to work this yet. We've got a couple of things we need to do first. We've got these foot pads that need done before the workers can even get here. So that's obviously a thing. But I've changed my mind on these. I, uh, I'm sorry to say I've changed my mind on these. I, uh, I don't think that these are permanent enough. I don't think that our stuff is permanent enough to require the stuff to be existing. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to remove it. Um, I'm going to remove this one. I do want one here, but I don't need a big one here. I think I'll be okay without the big one. Um, I'm going to tear these down. I just I just keep thinking about it, and uh, it's it's gotten to the point where I just... Oh, actually, I do need that road there, though. Yeah. Road needs to be there for them to break it down. Um, I just... I, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking, this is a waste of resources. This is a lot of steel. I don't need it. And so, we're going to get construction waste and metal scrap here, too. Um, but I want to break those things down. Uh, the other thing I need to do, and let's make sure that the, the de demolition offices are on the case here. We'll do you there, and you can be on this other one here, okay? Um, they're going to auto-search it anyway, but... It's whatever. I don't know if I've walked you through how this works yet because uh, I've started and stopped this recording six times already. Yeah, this is the last day uh, I have uh, to work until my daughter finally starts daycare. So I am uh, excited to finally have uninterrupted days again. It's very, it's gonna be very, very good, I hope. Um, I'm buying steel temporarily here. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off, but they're gonna keep buying steel because it is needed. Until they're done, my budget will continue to go down <laughs> or my money will continue to go down. Anyway, I don't know if I've walked you through how this works yet. So, I'd like to do that. Mixed waste is going to come through here. We have hover over top of this. If I've already walked you through this, I really apologize. There's over 20% construction waste here. We have metal scrap. It's an insignificant amount, but there is some in here. That's why it's in the list. It's possible we'll also see plastic waste, aluminum scrap later on, etc. If it appears in the list, there's at least at least a little bit in there, okay? But it's insignificant. 
There's also biological waste, burnable waste, and other waste, okay? That pertains to heat mostly um the reason why they're separated but biological waste this is the stuff that our citizens are separating themselves now but before they could do that they were dumping it in with everything else we can't use this biological waste it's just it's like just in here okay um this is gonna sort stuff but it can't sort biological what it does is it just takes biological burnable and other and it sends it off to another dump which is exactly what i'm going to do right now in the moment it has its own internal internal storage at 50 tons but this gets loaded up really quickly so we want another dump over here so we're going to put in another dump and we're going to use this big medium one here we don't need the claw for this another very important thing you don't need the claw for this so i'm going to say right uh right here is a good spot there we go almost there now the other thing I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to take the road office off of group one because they have their own group now. I don't know a situation where this will be needed, but there might be a situation where it's needed. So I'm going to take and add to the road crew all the, con the concrete trucks. I'm, I don't know if there's going to be a reason for them to be there, but I don't see there's any harm in adding them to this group. The important thing about this, though, is that workers are not in the road group, okay? Uh, also, the, you guys are doing this, right? Yeah, I, I, real quick here. I just wanted to make sure that we are... Uh, we need a path to this, and then I can start explaining this later. Let's make sure there's a path to this so it can go. All uh, right, like this and like that, okay? Uh, and then construction, crews. Let's get roads on... No, not this. There we go. Roads on that. And then everybody else is on this one, okay? And then we make sure that roads are also on this and this, even though they probably already are, but let's just make sure that they are, okay? uh all right so while they're getting on that i want to come over to here and i have removed all of the buses out of this construction office so this can can go we don't need that anymore i would also like to get this road to be more permanent and uh better suited for our needs we have you know all the buses and stuff coming out of this construction office and and whatever coming to the bus stop i want to speed this up so I'm going to delete all these little walking paths. And then once this road is all one segment, there we go. I'm going to go in and tell them to make this like that. And road crew, go. All right. Now that means these guys have to get out and they, they can't reach the office now. So I need to give them a little bit of a bypass. We're going to do it on this side of the tracks. And there they go. Now they can get out and get around where they need to go anyway. But they won't be going this direction to do it make that a high priority i also want this one to be a high priority right here all right so hopefully that takes care of construction office stuff waste is going to come through here the reason you, do, you don't want a two-way factory connection is because you're going to pull mixed waste in and anything this thing can't sort like the biological other burnable etc that comes out still as mixed waste you don't want it to be put back in here because then you're going to be pulling it back out. You can't use it. So back in and it's just this endless cycle. That's really a wasteful. Well, it's a, it's, it's waste with waste. Okay. So we want to have the out be here. And then after this, we're going to put an incinerator right here. That's going to pull it in and burn it. All right. That incinerator is going to be, hopefully if we can get this done, which we just can't, there's just not enough professors here. It's just, it's insane how few professors we have. Like, this is this is just crazy. Nine. Like, where are all the smart people? They're just disappearing. None of the smart people are sticking around. They're all over here, which is the hospital and everything. But, like... Uh, can I get some of you guys at least to come over here? Can I get some of you? Yeah, you guys here. Technical University. Let's, let's pump those numbers up here, okay? Yeah, pump those numbers up. Let's get people over the university if possible here. Uh, and again, I would go undecided. I would, but then I wouldn't have a reliable source of people at this bus stop if I did this. So I need to make sure there's a reliable source of people in all places. We don't have enough judges. I am seeing the trial is ahead of the limitation, though, so maybe that's okay. We're going to start getting a lot of prisoners here pretty soon, which is not a good thing to feel. Like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that we're going to have... Uh, this isn't good. 
doing great on finding the crimes, but trying them in court is just is a struggle. Probably because I just took them away from. You know what? Where is this court? Let's have a little bit more focus on the court. A little less on the police station. A little less on the hospital. I like this balance a little bit better. We'll see if we can make that work. Where's this traffic jam at? Uh, okay, so this person, this this truck can't get in here because this is being repaired. Uh, let's go ahead and send the repair truck back. That'll fix that traffic jam issue. And we have one spare spot here on here. And I'm thinking maybe we do the roller here. Or another open hull. Yeah, we could do another open hall so they can, you know, deliver the mechanisms and everything. I'm thinking I go... Maybe... Uh, this one looks like it might have too many open halls. But when you start building stuff with steel, you're going to use it. Let's see if they have any used vehicles for me here. Open hall. Open hall. Yeah, okay, so 25 years old. That's a pretty good discount, actually. That's all right. I like that. We'll send this one here. Because the repair center is, you know, attached to the construction office. So that's just fine. So this open hall, we're going to send it over to there. All right. There you go. Get it assigned there. So anyway, we could start working this building once this dump is done. There's 270 tons of capacity here, which is fantastic. Because what it means is that we can almost empty one of these. And uh, once this fills up, I can then start pulling from another one and then emptying it back into this. And I can start maybe processing these and the, the excess waste that can't be used will then go into this one. And then once this is emptied out because we're burning, I can then start pulling it in from this one again and this won't be able to sort it. So it'll kind of all just pass through and get into here. And at that point, we'll just then, then be burning it to the point where hopefully we can get one of these to be empty and then my trash people my garbage trucks they uh you know they can have a place to put their stuff because right now they're running out of room to put stuff and i gotta start working this building uh a little bit faster i gotta start working it uh so fire is extinguished i don't even know what was on uh the asphalt plant okay oh i'm happy that the asphalt plant was taken care of we are a little bit lower on bitumen now but we still have plenty i think we have plenty anyway this road is not being worked not anymore not ever since i switched all the stuff or maybe it is maybe it's, that's why it's dark green because it it's being worked but not every office is being work is working it i think maybe that's what it is i want this road to attach to this road so uh, this one needs to be done, and then, yeah, that one needs to be done. And then I want the, yeah, the technical service office is getting up to, this is going to be good for us getting additional garbage trucks. As we are sending things to the border, that means garbage trucks are having to travel really long distances to do that. I'm working on that, okay? I'm working on that. I'd like to get, once we get this stuff cleared out of here, because this is, again, a little bit too much. We didn't need to have make the really big ones, okay? So I will have to, unfortunately, rebuild uh, these things here. We're going to get metal scrap for that, though, and they'll be able to deliver that metal scrap over here. At least I thought they would. Can you deliver that metal scrap over here? Is that where you're taking it? Yeah, you're taking it here. Exactly. And then what are you doing? You're taking metal scrap to here. And then uh, you could just go ahead and do that, hopefully. Biological waste, you take that up to here. This might be overkill too, okay? But this was a long-term plan where trains will eventually be bringing huge portions of it so that we can have it for fertilizer, right? Speaking of which, it's July. And how's our crops doing? 100%. Okay. We got growing. Lots of growing progress. I'm pleased. Not these, but they didn't have very good fertility. And then it became too late to, to sell the fields. So that's just that's just how that worked out. They'll work that next year. All right. I don't really have much to do, to be honest. Much to show you until this stuff is done. So I kind of want to just let it go and let stuff get completed. I'll keep working on roads in the meantime and keep working on research in the meantime. Hopefully, I can get this done before winter. That 
would be great if I could just get the way started processing before winter. Um, I guess one thing I could do just to help free up some space, I suppose, uh, would be to start bringing in from this side. You know, so how about I try this? We can say we, we go here and we're going to say that these are this way first. Okay. We're going to bring it in only from one side. And then how about we add, let's say, 25 workers to this building, which is without drinking water. So I need drinking water here, too. Uh, let's go and put the drinking water. Can I have this be right here? Will you fit here? If I put you here, you should be close enough to reach the incinerator later. So I'm, I'm going to put it like right here, I think. I don't think this will get in the way of any other storages in the future. So I'm going to place it right there. And then the pipe, I have one more connection, which is right here on this pump. And uh, let's see if we can maybe F4 this. And let's go like... No? Not going to let it happen, eh? Come on. No, not F4. Sorry. I, I already had F4 off. Don't have F4. Don't, don't use F4. There we go. That's what I'm interested in right there. Okay, and then we're going to have this go all the way over and stick that into there, which I won't be able to do as a straight line until I get to here. And then from there, go to here. Yep. So construction can get on that and that. That's going to be pretty important. We'll have that be a higher priority. We can get that done. That's our building crews. Should be good to go there. And yeah, I just need to let it run for a bit. So give me a second and hopefully I'll, I'll come back in when this thing starts to work, okay? Which we might actually get, start getting workers in there anyway uh, because the buses will come over here and they'll start dropping people off. Yep, and uh, because it's unspecified, I kind of feel like I should specify. <laughs> uh, I, I have such a, such a desire to fully control their lives. I also want to absolutely make sure there's always people at the bus platform, but you know, there's a little bit of smart people in here. So maybe we can get just a little bit of people to work at the university that might help out. Okay. Any smart people in here? Yeah. Just a, just a few, please. Let's have you work in the university. Okay. Just a couple. All right. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, yeah. So had I waited just one year, <laughs> to start farming. I guess it would be two years, really. I'd have to put it back two years. Because I'd have to, you know, we wouldn't be able to plant this year. We'd have to be plant planting next year. So actually, yeah, if I'd waited one year, I could have bought the combines. The E512. I, I thought this was a 1970 thing. Just in my head, I told me that this was later on. But uh, no, 67. Probably would have gotten some comments about that, too. So, uh, there you go. Haha, ha, very funny. That said, I've only bought four of the other combines. It's not like I had a significant investment in them. And we can always scrap them later on. Right? They'll get old and eventually wear out. But, yeah, we got the old combines. And uh, the new ones are now available. And these ones are way better. So, I would have wanted to buy these instead. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> but they're available now in 19... 67. So if you're playing like I am and you're like, hey, I can tough it out. I don't need farms until 1967. Okay, then then get the combines and get the farms going and stuff at that point. Yeah. I'm thinking I need more. More people in deconstruction. Demolition takes a long time, man. I don't have nearly enough people, not enough garbage trucks. Like, they're moving the waste very slowly, right? Like, it's already torn down. They just need the stuff brought out of here you know so i'm thinking we should do one more demolition office uh you get seven of these things for free and that's probably why because you can have you know a lot so i'm thinking we put another demolition office over here let's say let's say right here is probably good there we oh really so the only place i can't there it goes uh, and then I think I'm going to add uh, you and you. I'm going to get you two over here. We're going to say mixed waste is going to be dropped off. Uh, let's put it in. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's. 
put it over here somewhere, I guess, for now, I guess. Hazardous waste still goes to the border. That's that's unfortunate. Um, metal scrap, we're going to have you... Again, this is all temporary. Place it there. Construction waste is going to get placed over there. Explosives, you get those from the warehouse, although we haven't used them yet. Uh, and then workers would go to this bus stop, but you're not going to have any workers at the moment anyway. So, uh, And then we'll have these garbage trucks. And they should hopefully now... Switch into gear and come over here and get these things done. Because these are, of course, the big things that we were supposed to have done a long time ago, okay? And then mostly just prefabs have been brought to this. So, uh, we're going to see workers starting in here now. We're not going to see anybody, you know, drinking water from here. But you can already see that construction waste has been being worked in here already. They've already been having work days. So, lots of construction waste is here, Yeah. Uh, and mixed waste is almost filling up. And so what I want to do here is I want to get my dump truck. Where is my big dump truck? Uh, I put it over here, but this is a different one. This is one with gravel in it. I want the one with coal. Uh, I already sent it on its way, but it's not quite here yet. Let's go and find this thing. Where is this? You just haven't quite arrived yet. What I want from you... After you unload all of your coal supply, which, I'll be honest, I think you probably can't do it. You're not going to be able to unload it because thing's full. There's just nowhere to unload it. So, you're going to be here for a while. So, I probably should get the gravel truck to do this instead. Uh, we're going to do that instead. We're going to say, you unload your gravel there. Okay. Uh, and then what I want you to do is you're going to come down to this you're gonna load construction waste all right you can wait to load it too that's probably good and then you'll come over here and you're gonna drop it off over here unloaded and there's two parking spots here indeed so that'll be your new route at 42 percent wear and tear it's not great not a great time to start this job but somebody's got to do it we need construction waste to be out of here. I'll plant a few trees. This video is getting way longer than I anticipated just because, man, coherent thought has been very difficult today and yesterday and the day before that. The four days I've tried to record this video. I'm sorry. I don't think this will happen very much often in the future. I really don't. I think this is the last day where this enormous problem is going to continuously persist, but uh, the, end, the end of the persistence on this aggregates i wanted a small one and i think i'm gonna go concrete heavy here instead of steel heavy i'm just tired of buying steel we're gonna go with a small one and uh i'm thinking we go yeah the road on that side is good and i'll ha probably have it even closer because i can fit it right here as long as they get this out of here which is you know metal scrap and mixed waste is all they got to do but you can see that the this is dropping which is what we want to see but this is filling up once this fills up, they most likely will stop working here. Uh, and at least I freed up a little bit of space, right? Yeah, I can't export mixed waste. So now the thing is, these two are full, right? What I can do is send this mixed waste back over to here. I've already sorted it. Now, this just means I'm going to start pulling in stuff that I've already done before and that's not a great reality but it allows me to continuously sort what i can sort until this is ready and then when i start pulling stuff in it'll start getting shoved into this dump the thing i don't know what needs to happen or the thing i don't know that can happen is when this thing fills okay the dump does not initiate any movement of resources in other words it doesn't push or pull so you need something to push into something, or you need a building that pulls out of something. I don't have that. I've been eyeballing these transfer for garbage containers, and that looks interesting to me, but I'm unsure as to whether or not this... I don't think this building pulls or pushes either. But I believe the only thing that I can do in that situation probably is to get trucks to take it out of here and that's no good but <laughs> it's kind of kind of buy me some time here hopefully there's 270 tons of space here 
And so there's only 266 tons here. Maybe what I can get away with later is I can pull in garbage from this side. And uh, if I end up filling this thing up with bad waste, then that's not going to be the case. But um, I just need to buy time until I can get the incinerator up. That's it. Right. And then once I get the incinerator up, we're going to see this footpath right here. We're gonna see this footpath. I need to. I need to do this. Let's uh, bring this out just a little bit more. And then on this side, I want you to just give me a little more space here. There you go, just like that. And then I want to bring you around from here. Yep. And we're just gonna get this walking path to take us as far as we can asphalt wise um, I don't know if this is where it's gonna end up being so for now I'm just gonna go like this I'm not entirely sure where the road will end up being in the future but uh, this is gonna be a walking path that we will get going with that hopefully I don't actually don't know if this will work from this point they went from here to here and then from here to here is 304 meters so we're already kind of you know 343 we're getting really far out there now this is about as far as we're gonna be able to go so i'm gonna have to have this incinerator right here all of this is gonna have to be asphalt that's gonna take a while but i've got a while at least for now so um we'll try to make it so let's get that deleted and get this deleted and Yes, I, I believe that's it. So then we'll take the footpath. Now I could, I guess, maybe do the one with lamps. We need electricity in this area, which we have. But if I do the ones with lamps, we might be able to reach where we want to reach. If we get all the way over here. Let's see if we need it by just taking asphalt footpath. And I'm going to say here is asphalt. And up to here is asphalt. And then obviously this is already asphalt too. Uh, if this doesn't reach, but it's getting close, I'll go ahead and make this asphalt. And uh, if it's not close, I'll have to evaluate whether that extra 5% will be enough to get us into the incinerator. Otherwise, a bus stop is going to have to be here. Uh, or just a dedicated like mini bus route that takes people to the incinerator. Unsure. I got to let this run, though. I got to let it run so that we can see uh, everything just in action. I got to see everybody working things. For now, since they can't export anything anyway, I'll turn the worker count to zero. And uh, when we can finally get this dump built, it's 0.18 tons of steel. It, we're out of steel, isn't it? That's what it is. <sighs> okay, I'll have to buy steel. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I really hope that this video isn't incoherent by the time I get a chance to edit it. And uh, the next video will should be way more organized. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> we'll check, check you next time. Bye-bye.